Good morning, guys. I was just taking a picture of that birch. You know how I love birch trees, and there's evergreen in the background, and birch trees coming out red, and there's next to it a tree coming out green. It's not focusing well. Doggone it. It's so pretty down there, all those colors. And then across the street, there's white and blossoms. Some nice red blossoms there. More birch across. Green and red blossoms. Probably if the sun was out, it would show up the colors better. Anyway, just a sec, I'll turn you around. Okay, Pete's in the house getting the kids. I'm wearing my straw hat for Mother's Day because when I talked to Casey this morning, she said Lyra's wearing flowers. So I wasn't wearing flowers, so I stuck that on. So we can both wear flowers. Casey gave me this for my birthday or Mother's Day. It was in the spring anyway, a few years ago. So I wanted to wear that. And, of course, I got this pink shirt that I've had for a while. And I'm just wearing jeans. And those shoes that you gave me, Annette, I love those. I wear them all the time. They're great. I'm even wearing them to church. They look, you know, kind of lacy and dressy and whatnot. So this morning, about 9.30, Bill came over and brought our laundry in. So we all had clean clothes to wear. We'll get those put away this afternoon. Yeah, yeah, and happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. Happy mo Oh, Lyra, you're beautiful with your flowers. <coughs> I got something for Mother's Day for you. You do? What is it? <gasps> Thank you, Lyra. Those are, oh, those are beautiful and they smell so fresh. Smell them. Don't they smell fresh? From the sun. Yeah. Have from... so... The sun is this big. Yeah. I have something to show. And Leland. Hey, what... Hello. What What you doing today? You look good. Yeah. Your mom you lets you wear a Wolverine that. sweatshirt? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Or did you have to sneak it out of the house? <laughs> no. My mom let did me. That's good. I have a couple things to show. Okay. That I got from a yard sale. Cool. Show me. I want to see. I want to see. I want to see. One. Ooh. Very pretty. Bleach. And then the other thing. It yeah. kind of looks like a gym badge. <laughs> what? Let me see. Oh, I like. I love all those colors in there. It's beautiful. Thanks. Good job. Good picking. Mm -hmm. I also got like um a shield and like a battle axe from the Madville Times. Wow. Yeah. So one more thing. What CD did you bring for us to listen to today? Royal Airs. I'll never sail alone. I'll never sail. Yep, let's, uh, when Umpa gets in and gets us started, we'll crank that baby up. Hi, Lyra. Mm -hmm. Hi. Guess what? You're wearing flowers and I'm wearing flowers. And also, I'm wearing pants flowers and shirt flowers. Yes, you are. You're all flowery for Mother's and Day. And also on this dish, uh -huh. it has a um, testimony. I love that. It's okay. Yeah, I know. Look yeah. what I got from the yard sale. Ooh, nice. No, on my shoes. Oh, I thought you meant the... Oh, my goodness. Cute shoes. Mm -hmm. Very cute. So you didn't get the beads from the art sale? Yeah. Oh. And Mommy got these boots. Cool. Half boots. Cool. I'm a dancing boot oh, on your head. Uh -huh. Okay, he's, it's on already. I know. You got to have sound? Yes. All right, let me turn this off. I'll see you guys later. Say bye, bye. guys. Bye. Bye, adios, amigos. Bye, adios. <laughs>
Hi guys, it's about a quarter to three and I'm sitting here at the corner on my walker waiting for Casey. It's pretty freaking chilly out here. I'm just wearing what I had on earlier. Which isn't warm enough, but anyway. Look at those trees. I hope you can see they're like magenta or... I don't know. I'm kind of blurry now. Come on, zoom in. Anyway. I figured I could see her coming from here, but aren't those pretty? And then the tree right across from me is dark red. Well, the first one's kind of still naked. But the one after that's really dark red. Without the sun, it's hard to see. And there's... I think it's down in the 40s now. Anyway, I should see Casey's white van coming any minute now. So I will see you later. Bye. Hi, we're at Olive Garden for our Mother's Day dinner, and look at that big ziti, big ziti. The soup was amazing. I got the spinach and chicken. I always said nochi. Then there's salad. I didn't eat salad. Casey's got salad. We had breadsticks. And then Casey got a little piece of chicken. Look at the size of that. Okay, is that better? Oh my gosh. It is like, that's got to be a pound of chicken. I don't know how they found a chicken that big. I don't either. Maybe it's not that chicken. Big. I'm kidding. I'm just kidding. I was thinking like a cow tongue. A cow tongue? Isn't that about the same size? I guess. I've never seen one. And then, is that Alfredo on your pasta? Mm -hmm. And then Lyra. Lyra discovered today that she loves the purple things in the salad. No, I got You that much? Wow, look, there's more. There's some more bread for you guys. Thank you. She loves them. And then they both got macaroni and cheese, grapes. Lila got. French fries. French fries. And I got root beer. Bread sticks. Root beer. What in there? Apple juice. Man, that looks so good I could cry. I just can't stand it. So, I am stoked. Yeah, baby. No, thank you. Then. That was kind. That was very kind. So, I'm going to get down to eating here. And I'll see you later. Hey guys, uh, it's um, oh, my earring. Oh. Anyway, it's only eight o'clock, so I'll be up again. Still have to feed the birds. I usually feed them around ten. And uh, yeah, it was a great day. Great church service. Great message. Fantastic message. Great final message to this four-part series about freedom. Um, and now went out with Casey and the kids for a wonderful, she took me out for a wonderful dinner at Olive Garden. I got, well, you saw it. Never mind. Never mind. You saw it. So then we got back and she went to drop me off at home and the door was locked and Pete wasn't here because he had said he would probably go fishing, but I wasn't aware I would not be able to get into the house. So she took me back to her house. They got to hang out with them for a while. They had never heard of an automaton. Can you believe that, dear? No, I can't believe that. Yeah, they only Leland had because I had shown him. So she turned on YouTube on their TV and brought up automatons and watched a few videos and she said, I hate it, it's creepy. <laughs> I can't stand it. And Leland said something about it being annoying or irritating because that was the, he was naming the title of an automaton video that was on there. And he goes, I agree with you, Leland. That's terrible. Or it's annoying or whatever. So um, Leland said, no, that's the title of the video. Well, my thought that maybe sometime before we leave we could buy everybody of automatons and make 
a nice little automaton orchestra, family orchestra. That's just down the tubes. <laughs> P would do it. Leland would do it. I would do it. Lyra, the jury's still out. She's like, what are they doing with his mouth? <laughs> anyway, so. Uh, I'm still getting one. I told I told Leland I'm getting one. So, I guess I won't get one for Lyra. Her birthday party's next Saturday. Guess I won't get one for Lyra, huh? Mm, not right away. I was thinking that would be a cool gift for her. Something musical. So, uh, anyway, spent about... Uh, an hour a little more over there and it was fun of course I always enjoyed being with them and then um, came home now the first two times I trimmed Maisie's nails she was fine for it this time she just throwing herself all over the place she never tried to bite or growl or even lift a lip nothing like that I mean she's about as gentle as they come but she did pull her leg back and she would take her face and push it between my hand and her foot <laughs> she was a real brat so we're gonna work on that again um the first couple times i did it i just set a treat did i tell you this already treat on my knee clip a nail give her the treat clip a nail give her the treat she was fine this time not so much so and to top it all off i think she just farted or maybe it was Chewy, one of them laying here. Anyway, I'm going to go. And um, I hope you guys all have a great week. This is my week to work for the bug man. Because uh, we, Bug Pam and I have been alternating weeks. Because it hasn't been, it's still been real chilly. So we haven't really had enough work for both of us to work. Um, so we've just been alternating weeks, which is fine with me. I could do that all the time and I'd be... Just fine with that, but this week, by the end of the week, it's supposed to be up near 80 in the Lansing area, so I have a feeling that our slow time is over. Wasps are going to start. So, um, I will see you guys anyway tomorrow, and there's something going on after work. Oh, yeah. Casey's dropping Leland off after school. Pete has to... We have... Okay, I can think about this after I'm done vlogging. I can't... Whatever. So he's coming over after school to do some rug raking for us. So um, he's going to earn a little extra cash. Maybe to get him his sister a birthday present. Who knows, but... All right, her birthday's not till June 2nd, but with Casey's precarious state, with this baby who's, like, uh, threatening to emerge early, Casey wants to get Lyra's birthday party out of the way soon, two weeks early, so that in case she has the baby, Lyra doesn't miss out on her party. So they'll still celebrate her birthday on the 2nd, I'm sure, or maybe we all will, if it's if the baby hasn't come. Babies actually do the ninth, but you never know. Lara was early, Le or Leland was early. Lara was even earlier than Le Lara. No, Lara. Forget I said anything. Have a marvelous Monday. Take mm -hmm. care. God bless and good night.